Okay, welcome to part two of how to paint a seascape. Uh, my name is Rod Moore from Moore Art School and um, just the second part of developing this particular painting and just as a recap what we're painting is this uh, great little photo here of the Point Lonsdale Lighthouse not far from where I live. Um, I've got a couple of other photos that I'm using as reference but this is the main photo and uh, quite like the dark in the foreground here and the way the sun's really hitting in this middle distance area here. So I'm doing a different format to what the actual photo was taken as and adding in some other rocks from, from other photos that I have on the right hand side there as you can see. Um, if you haven't done so already I'd recommend reviewing part one so you can see how we got to the point where I'm going to start off now. Um, so go and watch part one uh, of this video series if you haven't already watched, uh, watched it. Um, assuming you have though, this is a uh, where I'm up to now, uh, or where I was up to, and you can see that I've made quite a few adjustments. I've um, actually gone back over the entire painting, and I've worked in, um, I've re-strengthened the sky colour, the blue there, um, put more work into the shadow side of the clouds, and um, I put highlight colours over the uh, tops of the um, sand dune here, um, put a bit more of a highlight colour on the uh, the lighthouse and darkened the dark side of the lighthouse and put in some darks here you can see along where I've got the waves here um, on the right hand side this is going to be uh, the the face of the waves that are going to stand up so I've started to darken that area up um, so just and, and I've worked back into the sand um, you know strengthen the paint through the sand. In the initial blocking the paint wasn't that thick and, and I wanted to just really redevelop it and I've also uh, just adjusted the tone of the distant headland as well so that we push that even further back. Now um, with this sand dune here what I've done is I've I've got the nice dark colours in there and I've come in with a warmer mix of a cadmium yellow um, with a touch of ultramarine blue in there and a little bit of white just to get the warm sort of um, effect of light hitting on there. So uh, that's coming along quite nicely. Now I've taken it you know, a little bit further again and um, I've darkened up some of the rocks here as you can see. There's more detail work going into the lighthouse itself. I've popped the stairs in and I've put the this part of the stairs as it runs down horizontally to us um, or side on to us rather. I've put that in pure white whereas the top part of the stairs I've, it's in an off white and I'll put it in pure white to be the whitest part of the painting so it looks like the sun's you know directly hitting on there and in the foreground here I've just clipped some of the grass with the highlight colour from up the top of the sand dunes and that's starting to come together quite nicely I'm quite happy with that. Darkening uh, the wave body of the wave here the shadow side of the wave and um, also notice in the fog in, in the sand area I've darkened the shadow because if, if the light's coming from the top left hand side the sand dune here is going to cast a shadow but there'll be some light breaking through which is what I've done so I've darkened the shadows and I've lightened the lights to uh, create that effect of a bit of sunlight peeking over the top of the sand dune and I think that's coming along quite nicely I'm quite happy with that put some you know worked on my darks into the bottom of the rocks here um, and in these foreground rocks as well Starting to develop the highlights now on the water, as you can see there, I'm using a greyed white and just really putting in that white foamy water there. Um, so that's starting to pull a subject together. Uh, put a bit more highlight into the clouds, although I'm not entirely happy with it, so I've adjusted that. Um, oh, this photo's a bit, a bit blurry, so I apologise for that. Um, you can see I've knocked back some of the highlights with a bit more of the shadow colour there, and I've started detailing up the lighthouse here. So you can see I put in the window frames and the little handrails, um, there's little you know uh, aerials and things like that on the lighthouse that I've put in. Um, there's a little antenna over the left hand side here which is probably, it, it appears a lot stronger in the photo but I wanted to downplay it so I've just put it in very lightly, uh, an indication of it. And um, look I think it's coming together quite nicely at this stage, I'm, I'm happy the way it's progressing. Here's another progress shot, um, just again working in the details, you can see here I put in some little dark lines throughout the sand here. I uh, wanted to create the effect of you know, a bit of seaweed and uh, clumps of rubbish that are washed up on the, on the sand, um, which you see on every beach scene. So um, worked into, you know, worked that into the equation, kept a little bit of light hitting on the embankment here. And um, 
you know, at this stage, I was really getting, you know, at the point where I was, if I just go back, um, I was really just adjusting and fine-tuning little bits and pieces here, getting it ready for that final uh, detailing up of the painting. Um, and you can see, you know, I've, I've worked into the sky back and forward. You can see just in here, the thick, the paint's quite thick there, up in here in the clouds, because I was just adjusting, you know, back and forward from dark to light, just making sure I got the right combination and the right balance of the two. Um, so that's where we're up to in this video. Um, in the final video I will pull it all together um, with all the little details and um, show you how I've done that and, and I'm, look at this stage I'm quite happy with it so I think it's going along quite nicely. It's a good little project to have a go at. Now if you're looking to learn how to paint in oils or acrylic then we've got a free five-day course for you called Learn to Paint. Uh, just drop by www.freepaintingvideos.com or click on the link underneath this video and you'll be taken to a page where you can get access to that. And the course goes through all the you know basics, beginning to paint and, and getting started painting um, so that you can do projects like this. So drop by there and, and have a look and uh, look out for part three of this video where we pull everything together and um, conclude this painting. So I'll see you in part three. Cheers.